Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Passover. Um, thank you for watching this short little video. It's just, I want to sh share with you my egg basket, my Easter basket, and it has Ukrainian eggs, which make it even more special now. I made these years ago, um, and they took a lot of work, and so I'm going to show them off and some other things that I made for my Easter basket. I'll just show you quickly. Okay, the thing, no, I won't. Um, and I have a card I drew today, uh, and I just want to let you know that it just feels to me a very powerful energy today. When I went into meditation, and I only did a short meditation because it's a hospice day for me, um, I just felt surrounded by love. And I want to encourage you to think about finding your heart space today taking a moment, if you haven't already, take a moment just to breathe like the ocean. Imagine the breath like coming in and out like an ocean until you calm your mind. It could take 10, 15 minutes just to calm the mind, right? And then, then go into the heart and feel that light that you have, which is your light connecting to your soul, your oneness, and feel that oneness and the surrounding of love when you do that. Um, I have been experimenting with different meditations. Sometimes I breathe, stay in the heart. Sometimes I imagine I'm at a waterfall or someplace in nature. And at the waterfall, I might see an image of, let's say, Master Yeshua or something like that. Usually it is Master Yeshua for me. Um, so, but, to, but I've thought now just this week, I'm moving that image Instead of being out, it's going to be in my heart. So I don't even have to go to the waterfall, but I can maybe bring the waterfall inside, blending with that waterfall and Master Yeshua or whoever. Maybe it's Buddha, maybe it's Metatron or Archangel Raphael, whatever calls you. Maybe it's just pure light. So um, it, in the card, I, I drew today with self-love. I love that, you know, because we do, we forget to love ourselves. And when we can bring that love in, um, then we can expand it. So I want to show you my basket or some of my things. Okay. And now this is a Ukrainian egg. So the way you make these is you blow the egg out, you make a hole, you blow it out, and then, um, you put wax on it for the design you want. It's hot wax. And then you dip it into the, the stain or the dye. And then you've got your design. Now, um, you can do the different waxes, a different, um, you can do several layers. Like I did, here's an elephant. It has three colors, an elephant egg. These are very, actually take a lot of time. Well, I don't know how I did this when I had kids, but I did. Um, I mean, I still have kids, but I mean, when they were young. All right, here's another pretty one. I like this one. So you can see the different designs. And these are traditional Ukrainian eggs, and they last year after year after year. Some other things that are in my basket, I have a little chick I've made out of needle felting. And you can see I use an egg to, oops, get the shape of an egg and needle felt it. And then I um, made the little chicky goes inside and I've got one with the penguin, the penguin coming out of an egg as well. Oops. There. Cute little penguin. <laughs> um, now I'll show you one my daughter made. She made a little, this is when she was little. She made this little ducky. <laughs> okay. What else do I have? That's kind of good. Um, oh, here's a little bunny. Can you kind of see the bunny? Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, you guys, and this is another one. This is actually my son's Waldorf teacher made this one. So it has little cute little, my, my kids went to Waldorf school. These are very traditional Waldorf. So Waldorf is um, a philosophy, Rudolf Steiner. He's in, from Germany. Um, and so they, in the, the school, I learned a lot. You know, I wish I could have gone to a Waldorf school, but oh, well, <laughs> I at least I got to live it through my children. Um, okay, so you guys, I want you just to have a blessed day. This week on Monday, I am meeting with Maggie Spaulding. She's going to be on my channel. We're going to talk about her new book. She's a yoga teacher, author, 
psychic medium. And so it will be wonderful to hear how she developed her book and what her book is about. Um, and it is about her mediumship and her her automatic writing that she had with her son when he after he passed at the age of 27. All right. And then Mel, I'll be with Mel on Wednesday on his channel. And I think we're doing animal messages again. So because we had so many requests, we didn't get to all of them. So we're going to be, be doing that again. All right. Again, have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all soon. Bye bye.